God's generosity against human jealousy. Welcome to 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Dear friends in Christ, living in our human life is very difficult task that to live the life of peace and happiness because we always live the life of the others then our own life. We look at others' life and ponder on the negative part of their growth and failures and lose at the end our credibility before others. We don't get satisfied of what we are worth to receive and we look with contempt of what others get by their capability. So the sickness of jealousy and the comparison get into our bodily system. the liturgy and the readings of 25th sunday in ordinary time lead us to value the generosity of god that is given to the whole of humanity in the first reading we are invited to see god in our life while he is near to us through mending our life into a good way of living because he is so generous in all his deeds and in the second reading saint paul gives a way to gain attention of god by living for him no matter how we are and how our behavior is to be worthy of gospel of christ because god is lavishly showering his blessings to us in the gospel reading we find the greatest compassion of god in human form as land owner god portrays himself as a land owner going around giving the opportunity of receiving the blessing to those who are left without being hired to earn on that day god saw their idleness and pathetic conditions of life He gave invitation to work in his vineyard. God is so generous that he could allow all to work in his vineyard even in five different hours of the day and he is just to the wages that are fixed for the laborers. This is the way of the Lord in loving the humanity but what happens is the reality people come forward with the characteristics of unnecessary expectations demanding jealousy and comparison this make them to get divided among themselves even though all are created in the image and likeness of god in the gospel people began to see complaints on the account of owner's generosity and questioned him but the owner of the vineyard has cleared their doubts and made them understand his quality of being just in giving what they have acquired we get some time into the sickness of desiring more than what we really require and if you don't get that we begin to compare others and have jealousy at the growth of others we do the same boat of fighting with the lord when others get good number of blessing with crutch in our heart but we forget that we have also received the gifts that are needed for our life God showers good numbers of blessing for each one of us and has filled us with his grace to live our life well but we don't use those gifts and remain idle at all times but worry about others who are growing well God's vineyard has got everything provided we need to go there and enter into that God is in search of the people who are waiting to be hired and if he finds them he gives invitation to go into the vineyard 
the vineyard would give all that they needed for that day. Today, the Eucharist becomes the vineyard of the Lord, where the Lord goes on his own way in calling all to participate in the work and the mission of God through the Eucharist. Those who go would really get the same grace which are obtained for them. It is against the jealousy of the human being as God wants to care for others, to love others, to go out to others, to bring them in, to wipe their tears, to take care of them. And our behaviors should be like the people of encouragement and gratitude for what we receive and what others receive too. It is a Eucharist and the name of the Eucharist to give thanks. And that is full stop, the meaning of our lives. We give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love is everlasting. And today especially we give thanks to God for He is so generous. Let us feel that all are children of God so that we don't get into the life of jealousy and comparison at others' growth. Let us give up our attitude of digging pit for others. Rather, we encourage others to come forward in life and be happy. By doing this, we can surely discover soon in us the peaceful and happy life. And we see our life growing in good vibes day after day. Therefore, we pray in this Eucharistic celebration, dear friends, for others and for ourselves, that we all be united in working in the vineyard of God and be blessed by our Lord, the owner of our lives. Amen.